A beautiful view with the Earth below. The International Space Station is approaching the coast of Hawaii. Okay, with that, deploy is complete. So well done, both of you. Um, Steve, you can translate to retrieve the cable bag. We're doing live coverage of the 265th spacewalk. You ready for me to start those turns? A frame, your go. Thanks, Jim. Starting turns. And with those restraint bolts released, you can see the solar array begin to unroll. You can see the view here of a size comparison between the new solar array with the legacy array. When unrolled, the International Space Station rollout solar array, the new one, will be 60 feet long by 20 feet wide, and the legacy ones are 112 feet long and 39 feet wide. Stow it on your mini workstation. After that, we'll have you back at Stanchion Alpha. All right, that's in work. All right, let's go get it. The new solar array, which was delivered to the space station on the Commercial Resupply Service Mission, or CRS-28, on June 5th, will ultimately increase the station's available power by 30%. NASA astronaut Steve Bowen is at the work site. He is closing up some MLI, or multi-layer insulation. Copy, Steve. That looks pretty good. Corner. 